Hello, boys and girls. Toby and I are here to read a story. This one's about things in the sky because I, that's what you're reading at home this week with mom and dad. So this one is called Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me. And it's by Eric Carl, one of my favorite authors who stills writing stories for us today. Eric Carl always stop, starts with a fun, pretty page. Definitely some things from the sky. You can take a look at what the moon looks like at different times, too. There's our story. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of the window and saw the moon. The moon looked so close. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and she reached for it. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. Well, Papa got a very long ladder. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of a very high mountain. Up and up and up he went. Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, he told the moon. But you are much too big. Every night, the moon said, I get a little smaller. When I am just the right, the right size, you can take me home. And indeed, every night, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. And when the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. said Papa to Monica. I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it in the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it finally disappeared. Then one night Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. Each night the moon grew and grew and grew. Can you see a little bit of a smile on the moon? Eric Carl loves to have the moon the sunshine with a smile on its face. I hope you enjoyed this story today. Keep reading at home and I'll keep sending you some stories from my home too. Bye-bye.